The next type of label that we want to demonstrate is the labeling of a feature at the midpoint. So let's, how do we create this label? Let's go ahead and switch back to our DGN library where we're creating all of these. And I'm going to window out just to see uh, what it is we want to create. And so we're going to basically create a feature along label is what we're going to do here. And so again, place text, select our style, just like we've been doing in our prior videos. So this is going to be our survey topo label. So we're going to go to our insert field for element properties again, like we've been doing. And we have this mapped survey file referenced into our DGN. So we'll select a particular feature definition. Doesn't really matter which one. You're going to go down again to your linear feature. We're going to select our feature description, which is part of the property of our survey feature. And so we can pick the feature definition. That is going to give you the whole path. Um, or you can pick the particular description. And so we're going to pick our feature description and select OK. And then we're going to save that text favorite. Once that text favorite is saved, then we would rename it. So let's rename this one to Survey Feature Description or something like that. Select OK to that. We'll close out our editor and now that we have the text favorite created we want to navigate down and explore to our annotations so we'll get down to plan again this is going to be linear 3d survey and we'll give this a new entry and on this new entry we'll call this um, something like feature name or whatever you prefer let's call it feature name and then we'll right click manage and it's going to be a new entry here add new linear 3d annotation and in this one let's call this feature name or feature description whatever you want to call it this is going to be again we're going to be placing text and there's no leader and there's no line or cell so we can collapse those our favorite is going to be our survey i believe we call this survey feature description and then if we resize, you'll see that's going to start coming in. Now we've got to tell it where we want to put it. And so if I put in, for example, tangent for our placement. So now we need to tell it where to put these labels. So we'll go to increments on our location. And I want to change this from increment to percent and just put it at the midpoint of 50. And so now you'll see as that label is starting to build here, Go ahead and resize this a little bit and then we can give this a, a little bit of an offset so you can see how we can manipulate the, the appearance or the placement of that value and so that would then put that at the midpoint don't forget to set your element template to control the symbology so that's done once you have that created you close to save go back again to our feature symbologies and this one is one you may want to use on several of your entries but if I go down to for example our linear existing and let's say for example we go down to roadway and I take a look at any one of these it doesn't really matter I'll go down and go to properties and I simply go down to my 3d annotation group here and we will select then our feature name which will put a name of the feature or a feature basically a feature description and what it's pointing to is if we go down and look at our survey just to show you I'll just pick one here it's looking at this particular field the description field is what we selected for our favorite and then when you go and annotate your survey for every feature uh, you're going to get uh, whatever that description field is along that particular line at the midpoint If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.